Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zayn, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find that this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstance. So first of all, chosen, I want to talk to you all because uh, you got people out here big, big mad. And when I say big mad, I do mean big mad. You know, for a long time, chosen... You have carried yourself in the energy of royalty, just naturally. You know, it comes natural to you to have a certain amount of poise, class, you know, to present yourself in a particular way to clean yourself up, you know, physically and just, you know, when it comes to your character, you got a moral compass. So you move a particular way. You always have, even before you awakened, right? Even in your lowest vibrational state you still had a certain amount of class in terms of how you moved and how you did things. Even when you barely had anything to show for it, you still carried yourself with a certain amount of royalty and class and poise, okay? But now people are big mad because, see, in the past, even though you always knew that you were more than what your circumstances presented, even when you didn't have that much, you knew you were more. And that's why you carried yourself in a particular manner. People had a problem with that. They had a major issue with you holding your head up too high or you separating yourself and, you know, being too, um, they might have called you introverted, okay? Um, or, you know, I'm not even going to say introverted. These beings was calling you stuck up. Let's just put it, let's just be clear. They were saying you were stuck up. They were saying you thought you were better. Okay. These are the types of things that people said about you, right? But now you're not just carrying yourself with royalty. Your life is becoming a clear reflection of just how rich and wealthy you truly are. And it's not because you are one to flaunt or you are one to stunt or because you, you have a point to prove. And so now it's like, OK, I'm about to get out here and flex, <laughs> you know, that's not what you're on. The most high is just opening up doors for you to the point where it is big, it's massive, and it can no longer be hidden, right? And so as much as you've always been the type of person that's very modest, you're very humble, you know, very discreet, the Most High said you are royalty. And so therefore you deserve to live a life of royalty. And this is after many hardships, many struggles, being in lack, having the bare minimum, okay? But still finding gratitude in those things, still being able to smile, still being able to look your best, to look rich before you even became rich. Some of you are like, okay, I'm not even there yet, but keep going, you will get there. Because that is the destiny of the chosen seed here in the age of Aquarius, where the head now becomes the tail. So you take your throne back. Okay, you put your crown back on. I'm not saying that it ever came off, but you adjust it a little bit higher. Okay, or maybe you swap it out for one that's a little bit more bedazzled. Because you have earned this chosen. And so there are a lot of people who are big mad, you know, they're there already, but they're really going to be big mad as you continue to grow and receive your inheritance and your birthright. Your life is getting ready to look so different. You are getting ready to look so different. Everything about how you move and what you do is getting ready to look so different because it's all a reflection of the wealth that you've already had from within. 
See, you spent a long time in survival mode. But the more healing that you have done on the spiritual level, the more you recognize I'm rich already. I have no lack. There's nothing that will be denied for me because I deserve, I have earned all that is coming to me. This is the way that you think. And so because you changed the way that you think about your circumstances and you anticipated that the most high was going to deliver and that you have earned your inheritance because you've broken the generational curses, like you've made some big moves on behalf of yourself and your lineage chosen. You didn't just sit on your hands or you, you didn't just, you know, we're in an age now where people are learning about manifesting, right? People are learning about alchemy. It's no secret. You know, they even came out with a book called The Secret because it's no, it's no longer a secret, right? That your thoughts create things. But you chosen, you are so different from everyone else that has this awareness because you begin to realize that your thoughts create things and you decided I'm going to go beyond my own selfish desires. What I desire to manifest is the breaking of generational curses. That's what you said. You said what you desire to call in is a better version of yourself so that you can be of service to humanity. You said what you desire to do is to have a stronger connection to the most high in your spiritual team so that you can be a guide to others. You started manifesting things that were so unselfish. And so the most I said, they are ready. This is what you have earned as a result of thinking beyond yourself. This is what you've earned, chosen. And so people are going to be big mad because they're like, they don't understand why do you have so much wealth and abundance around you? People are going to try and be malicious, okay? They're going to say, I want some of what you have. You're going to give that to me, okay? <laughs> you know why they're going to be that way, though? Because a lot of these same people who are going to be mad at your come up are the same people who rejoiced at your breakdowns. Not only did they rejoice, but they played a strong role in helping to create a lot of those breakdowns, not knowing that they was being used as a pawn anyway by the Most High to, to strengthen you and to help you to awaken to who you are, your divine power. They didn't know that. They thought they was, you know, they had it in a bag. They thought that, you know, they had some form of power or control over your life. And so when they saw you falling and failing and not doing so well, they rejoiced at it. They laughed about it. They talked about you. They did all of those things. You know, they thumped their chest. It did something for their ego. It made them feel like, you know, they was winning. But even at your lowest point, you still cleaned yourself up and carried yourself with royalties. I don't care if you was wearing trash bags on your feet. You made them things look good. And so now the most High said, you deserve everything and more that is coming to you. You have earned it. And there's not one person walk in the face of this earth that can tell you that you have not deserved, that you do not deserve everything that is coming to you right now, chosen. You have truly gone above and beyond when it comes to doing the work on behalf of yourself, your lineage, and other chosen seed across the four corners of the globe. And you even took it a step further to the point where many of you we're generous enough to call judgment on your enemies. And I know some people are like, you know, how is that generous to call judgment on your enemies? Well, when you know, you know. You're doing people a favor when you call righteous judgment upon their heads because it calls in the very necessary lessons that they need in order to go through their own transformation, their own death and rebirth so that they can then rise into their divinity if they so choose. Now they have the free will because they've had to go through the hardships.
that comes with the choices that they made. So, yes, you even went above and beyond by doing humanity a big favor in calling judgment upon the heads of your enemies and not just your enemies, but the enemies of the balance of humanity. You've been calling judgment, not just on the people that have been working up against you, but the ones who have been working against humanity being in alignment, the ones who have worked against restoration of the frequency of love, the ones who have worked against the overall body of the chosen from rising into their divinity. You have gone above and beyond to do the spiritual work. These ain't no small things that you have done chosen. This is massive. You have broken massive change. You have removed major anchors that went far back for many, many, many generations. And had you not done it, it would have traveled forward for many, many generations ahead. Had you not broken the cycle on behalf of your ancestors and your offspring. This is big chosen. And so everything that you have, you will always be in a, in a spirit of thankfulness and, and gratitude. You will always carry yourself with a certain amount of humility. This is not going to inflate your ego. It never has. What this is going to do is it's going to enhance your ability to be able to do more, to see more, to have more of an impact, because now Struggle is no longer a part of your vocabulary. When you begin to receive everything that the Most High is getting ready to shower into your life, lack is no longer a distraction for you. Worry about how you're going to pay your bills next month would no longer be a distraction for you. Worry about how you're going to get to and from your destination and hoping that your car don't break down on the way there is not going to be a distraction for you. And so the Most High has made sure that your pathway is so clear that the only thing that you're being guided to do from this point forward is to just walk in your purpose. Keep that light shining, shine bright and shine even brighter because humanity needs you. You are making a massive impact. And so your enemies will be big mad because these breakthroughs that you get, they're not small breakthroughs. People notice you when you walk into a room. People notice you. Because, see, you've always been cut from a different cloth, right? And so now the cloth that you wear, the garment that you wear, is, is clear that you cut from a different cloth. Because your inheritance includes a wardrobe of war of royalty. And I'm not just talking about your physical threads, but that's also going to be upgraded for those haters in the back. <laughs> Let them hate. Because the most high said nothing will be denied from you because you did not move selfishly. When you awaken to the fact that you was able to manifest and create, you didn't just sit there and say, hey, I want I want a new car. I want new clothes. I want a BBL. Uh, I want to manifest, um, you know, X, Y, Z, all of these materialistic things that means nothing to yourself, that will mean nothing to your offspring, that will mean nothing to your ancestors. That would mean nothing to humanity. You did not go for the 3D so-called riches. You begin to manifest internal change. You begin to manifest on behalf of your lineage. You have done great things. You took on the assignment. You still take it on the assignment. You're still sending out positive energy and prayers for others in hopes that they rise into their divinity. And you know the most beautiful part about all of this? is that you have continued to maintain on this path, on this path, in spite of all of the obstacles that was placed in front of you. You didn't turn back around and say, you know what, I got to go back. 
you know, I, I can't do this. You didn't turn around and say, all right, I'm going to start doing this thing from a real wicked standpoint, because the fact of the matter is you always have free will chosen, even though your destiny consists of you carrying out your divine assignment and healing humanity. You always have free will to take the path of unrighteousness. But you just not built that way. And regardless of the obstacles and the triumphs that you, you know, the trials that you had to go through, you still chose righteousness. You still chose to give thanks. And even though you saw some people moving ahead of you, right, your enemies that, you know, they, they always cheat at some sort of, you know, at, at everything. They cheat in everything. And because their objective was to outdo you because they knew your potential. They were creating stumbling blocks on purpose because they wanted to be able to get miles ahead of you in hopes that if you have a, if you back there struggling, trying to overcome obstacles, then you would never be able to catch up. Not knowing that you was never a part of their little silly race in the first place. You were never a part of their race in the first place. This was all about a group of people, a whole bunch of beings who were, who know that the Most High created you and gave you a specific assignment, gave you a specific light, gave you a specific DNA makeup. These are beings who felt far inferior to you just by your, your potential. Your potential was intimidating. The moment that you was conceived into this world, the potential was so intimidating that they begin from a very early age and trying to work up against you to keep you away from your divine purpose and destiny. When you had no knowledge, you hadn't even come into remembrance of what you came here to do. Right. And so their objective was to create stumbling blocks way early in your life. But now you're about you're taking leaps and bounds past them. And they started early. They started generations ago. <laughs> they started working up against you generations ago. In anticipation that a Messiah will come through your bloodline and that Messiah will be you chosen. They started working up against you before you was even thought of. And so you come on the scene. You go through all of these trials and tribulations, but then you overcome. And man, when I tell you, you come out, I mean, the lion and the lioness, you just roaring. You, It's like, how? How is it even possible? People are baffled. They are baffled that you are moving past them leaps and bounds with your wisdom, your intellect, your growth, your healing. And now. All of these things are manifesting beyond the spiritual, mental and emotional. Oh, yeah, you definitely took leaps and bounds in those areas of your life. But now what's last to come is the 3D manifestation of all of those things that you became internally and that higher self, you know, coming into union with your higher self and everything that you've created in the spiritual realm. That peace, that freedom, the breaking of the generational cycles, all of those things as above, so below. So now the physical manifestation is a direct reflection of all of the wealth and abundance that you have generated and been able to reclaim. Because this, these, your wealth and abundance has always been yours. But see, breaking of those generational curses and demanding that your enemy unhand what is divinely yours, calling judgment upon the heads of your enemies, known and unknown from this generation and all past generations from this lifetime and all past lives. You didn't leave not one stone unturned. And so because of all of the work that you have done on a spiritual level, your physical manifestation those things that materialize that is a direct reflection of what's going on in the spiritual realm is so massive that your enemies are going to fall to their face 
They are going to fall to their damn faces. Many of them will turn their face away because they don't even want to see it. It's going to pain. It's going to hurt their soulless, you know, whatever you call these beings. It's going to hurt them to their core. Because it ain't nothing there. They're just void beings walking around with an inflated ego that's all about what they can see with their physical eyes, what they can manifest materially, the type of power that they can create, what type of authority can they have over you. And now, oh my goodness, how intimidating is that? They got to sleep on that. They won't be able to sleep on it though. Just know that your enemies are big mad and they're going to get even madder. And they're going to continue to get even madder because this is not going to stop what you've chosen. All of this wealth and abundance that's surrounding you is not going to just stop with you. This is generational. You have broken cycles that will last for generations. The wealth and the abundance will be surrounding your offspring if you choose to have them. Your legacy, even if you don't have offspring, will carry for many generations to come because that's how much of an impact you are making on the world. So congratulations, y'all. If ain't nobody told you, because you won't hear a whole lot of people tell you that. <laughs> That's just a fact. I don't care who the hell they are. You will not hear a whole lot of people tell you congratulations because fact of the matter is chosen. Most of the people that's in your inner circle are the ones who were your ops in the first place. Not all of them. You, you have a couple of them sprinkled in, you know, here and there that truly uh, admire you. But most of the time, you won't hear, wow, you really did it. Congratulations. Like, I'm so proud of you. And I'm talking about genuinely, not people saying it because they want a piece of your inheritance. You know, they want to pick from your harvest. Not people just, you know, giving you a fake smile because, Now they see the value that you have. No, I'm talking about people who don't want anything from you, but they just want to say, you inspire me and I'm proud of you. You did that. You won't have a lot of people. So I'm telling you, if nobody else told you, I'm telling you. And the most high mother and father is telling you and your spiritual team is telling you is Humanity is going to tell you because things are shifting in a massive way because the chosen, we out here fulfilling our assignments and we didn't let anything, we will not allow anything to hold us back from fulfilling what we was placed here to do. So that's my message for you all. I love you. I hope that this brought you some clarity and motivation to keep going out there, regardless of who's mad, let them stay mad because they're going to be mad. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let us know how it resonates with your circumstance and I'll talk to y'all next time.